Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you guys what is in my camera bag in 2020. I've been watching a lot of these videos and I really enjoy checking out what other creators use. So, I figured I'd give back and hope someone else enjoys what I do. So, let's get right into it. Start with the most obvious piece that everyone wants to know about. Uh, it's what's filming this video right now. So that is a Sony a6500. On it is a Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens. And I love it. I use it for everything I do. Uh, the 16mm is my go-to lens. I use it almost always. But otherwise, got a couple of tools to look into. Next, my backpack. It's something special. Uh, I got it for free somewhere with something I bought. Inside, I've cleaned it all out, it's put on the table, but there's some cases in there. This is where the camera goes. Got some little zippers up here for cables and whatever else. But yeah, nothing too exciting. Moving on. Next thing is this monopod. I love it. I think it reaches to about 10 feet and you never know when you're gonna need it. So I use it a lot to get like aerial shots, to get above the crowd at concerts, to get above the band in a music video. Uh, I've taken promos like this because I didn't have a drone and this was the next best way to get aerial shots. So I love this thing, it takes up no space, I just zip it onto my backpack and it's good to go. Totally fine, everything's great. Next thing to talk about is this battery charger. I recently just got this to charge two batteries at a time and it is fantastic. It shows me like the percentage of the batteries which I love because Sony batteries are awful. This camera flies through batteries and that's the one thing that I really can't stand about it. So having extra batteries and a good charger is crucial. Not so exciting is earplugs. I actually have like 10 of these stashed in my bag at all times because I can't imagine doing anything I do without earplugs. I think it would be big trouble for me. So earplugs are everywhere. I've got a bunch over here that just didn't fit in the little, little setup thingy, but earplugs, love them, need them. I've got a bag of 20 of these in my closet that I'm always digging through. So earplugs, huge key. Lens wipes, not exciting, but keep the camera clean, keep the lens clean, make sure everything looks as good as it needs to. Fuck it. Next thing I wanna talk about is business cards and stickers. So these I made years ago and I have thousands of them still. And what I used to do is at every single concert I was at, I would make sure that nobody left the venue without one of these in their hand. And I don't know how I feel about that. Looking back, I think it probably was pretty annoying to a lot of people who just didn't care. They just wanted to go see the music and not deal with me and my business cards. But I think what it did was it, one, introduced me to a lot of people. So now when I go to all the venues I've been to, I know a lot of people there, which probably helps business in some way. But if nothing else, it gave me the confidence and the skill to go up to people and say, you know, hi, I'm Peter. I take photos and videos. I'd love to work with you. If you want to check out my work, we can go here. And that's a conversation that you have as a content creator many times, whether it's with a band or a manager or an agent. And those are the people you don't want to be trying your conversation on, right? Like by doing this, it helped me so that by the time I had the more important conversations, I was ready to sell myself and talk about what I do. So recommend these, if nothing else, just to get experience talking to people, because if you're like me, talking to people's hard. So here you go, buy them, use them, love them. AA batteries, not very exciting. Obviously goes with the flash right here. This flash was $30, $40 on Amazon. Uh, it's probably not a very good flash, but for me it's done everything I need it to do and I like having less expensive equipment because if this thing breaks and blows up, then who cares, 30 more bucks and I'll be back in business. So, love the flash, AA batteries, rechargeable, save the environment, good stuff. Next up, ND filters. Uh, these go over the lenses, they just screw right on and they're great. These I got for free. I have them all labeled, which is something I did a couple months ago and made my life so much better. I didn't realize how important labeling stuff was, but now everything in my bag is labeled. Uh, so these are labeled. I use them on most shoots. Probably get nicer ones, but these have gotten the job done so far. So who cares? They're good enough. More not exciting mounting gear. Uh, this is a little, little thingy majigger, and it goes like this, so you can mount stuff onto the quarter inch and the quarter inch on this side. And it's great. I use the mount cameras. Same thing with this little. Pistol mount, pistol grip it's called. Don't know why it's called a pistol grip, but it is. Uh, your camera screws around to here. I use this a lot too. Um, I don't know, these are just little things that I use once in a while, but they're great to have because when you need them, they are indispensable. Last thing before we get into the more exciting stuff is SD cards, a little case storing them. Uh, have extra SD cards. Get into the last few things here, a couple personal favorites. Uh, so this is a $30 lens I got. It's a 35 millimeter manual focus. Uh, I think it's 1.7 it says here. And it's interesting. I got it because it has like a vintage feel to it and 
it was just fun to use a $35 lens. It has a very unique character to it, and I don't use it that much anymore because I feel like I'd rather shoot something cleaner and then make it more vintage, but it's cool, it exists, and it was a fun purchase for sure. So my next thing here is a Rokinon. Uh, it's this 8mm, 8mm 2.8 fisheye. I love this thing. I got it a couple months ago, so I haven't been able to use it too, too much. Um, but it's been awesome. Fisheye is just indispensable, especially in concerts where spaces can be so tight. Having something like this that can shoot any angle, you can be in front of the person and it still works great, is super important. So I love my fisheye. It just adds a good little variety to my bag. It's been a fun lens to use. I don't know how to put this back on. Fire. Cool. Last lens we'll talk about is my Sigma 30mm 1.4. This was the first lens I got for my Sony and I love it. Uh, I have a 16mm that I'm using right now, which is a very similar lens to this one. Uh, this one is just a little bit too zoomed in for me. I don't feel like I use it that much, but it exists and I use it once in a while for something that I want a little more close than the 16. But for the most part, this is a paperweight in my bag and it's a great lens. I just don't like the focal length as much as the 16mm. So, last thing to talk about is a hacky sack. Uh, one thing we forget about with being content creators, there's so much downtime everywhere. When you're at the venue, you're waiting for the show to start, and then the show ends, and people are packing up, or you're there to the build up, or I don't know. There's always downtime. It's a hurry up and wait industry. So having something like this that's just easy in your bag, fits, and you can have fun with is great. It also is a good social thing to have other people involved, and you don't have to be good at hacky sack to have fun with it. It's just something to be silly and stand in a circle and laugh and make some new friends with. So. I was carried around, you never know you're gonna need it. Jimmy, Hollow City, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you. And we're gonna hack some serious sack. Otherwise, that was it guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you for checking this out. If there's any other videos you wanna see, let me know. Otherwise, we'll chat next time. Take care.